guys. It's Allison. It was so good meeting with you the other day. We did have some questions on the quit claim versus the warranty deed. So I dug in a little bit deeper and I went and talked to a couple of the title companies, legal counsel, just to see their take on this because the escrow officers had been telling me that it cancels the title insurance policy. But both of the lawyers I talked to said that is not exactly the case. So let's say you have bar or client one and client two, client two is vacating the home. If you do a quit claim deed, client two does a quit claim deed, their title insurance is canceled for them, but it does remain in effect for client one. So that is okay. Um, and when I asked them what the big difference was between warranty deed and quit claim, there really wasn't a whole lot except for the warranty deed has a few other coverages that may help, but there's really no motivation for you if your person is vacating to need a warranty deed. Um, I have a, an attorney friend and he says he never does anything other than a warranty deed for his clients. So it's kind of what you guys were joking about where if it's your client, then you want the warranty deed. But if it's the opposing, then do the quick claim. It's kind of true. Um, one thing to keep in mind about title insurance is title insurance covers from the date that you close and in the past. It typically doesn't cover anything forward. Now, the Eagle policy, which is a standard policy now, does cover a few things, but usually title insurance is to cover things that came from the past. So most of these situations, you're never going to have an issue on those, but I just wanted to give you kind of the, the latest and greatest information on that so that we were all on the same page. So if you like quick claim deeds, keep doing them. Warranty deeds offer just a little bit more protection, but that's it. And I hope you found this useful, and please let me know if you have any questions. Have an awesome day.